ultrasonic scalers. Power devices like the sonic and the ultrasonic scalers are designed to dislodge calculus from the tooth surface, disrupt plaque biofilm, and flush out bacteria from the periodontal pocket. Initial treatment of chronic periodontitis involves non-surgical therapy with scaling and root planing. To enhance the outcome of scaling and root planing, sonic and ultrasonic scalers have been developed. These are power-driven oscillating instruments that have an application at home as well as in dental office. These devices aim to remove biofilm supragingivally and subgingivally and reduce inflammation. Periodontal treatment and maintenance can be done with hand as well as power-driven instruments. Power-driven instruments have shown clinical results similar to hand instruments but can be used along with hand instruments as well. Power instruments make scaling less demanding and more time efficient. Potential hazards include a rough root surface, production of bioaerosols, and interference with cardiac pacemakers. Mechanism of action of powered scalers. Factors that affect mechanism of action of power scalers are frequency, stroke, and water flow. Frequency of scalers range from 2000 to 50,000 cycles per second. Stroke of the working tip can be elliptical, orbital, or linear. Water has an effect on the efficacy of power instruments. Movement of water causes three physiologic effects. Acoustic streaming, acoustic turbulence, and cavitation. Vibration of the tip of the powered instrument create acoustic streaming, which is unidirectional flow of fluid caused by ultrasound waves. This is followed by ultrasonic turbulence, which is created when movement of the tip causes the coolant to accelerate, producing an intensified swirling effect. Cavitation refers to the formation of bubbles in water caused by high turbulence. The bubbles implode and produce shock waves in the liquid, thus creating further shock waves throughout the water and cause bacterial lysis. Water irrigation aids in heat dissipation, which arises due to fast-moving working end or the tip. Fluid lavage. Constant stream of water provides constant flushing action that washes the toxic products and free-floating bacteria from the pocket. Mechanical removal. Rapid vibration of the tips create microfractures in the calculus deposits and allow for gradual removal of the deposit. Powered instruments can be sonic and ultrasonic. Sonic unit works at a frequency of 2000 cycles per second and has air and water as a source. Compressed air from the dental unit and water is converted into high frequency sound waves that create the vibrations. The tips used are large and universal in design. The tip has an elliptical or orbital stroke pattern. This pattern allows the instrument to be adapted to all tooth surfaces. Advantages of sonic scalers are increased frequency in removing plaque and calculus. Multiple surfaces of tip are capable of removing deposits. No need to sharpen the tips. Less chance of stress injuries. Reduced lateral pressure. Less tissue distension. Less chance for stress injuries. Disadvantages include more precautions are needed. There could be client discomfort due to water spraying. Aerosol production. Noise. Less tactile sensation. And reduced visibility. Ultrasonic devices are of two types. Magnetostrictive and piezoelectric. Magnetostrictive units work in the frequency of 18,500 to 50,000 cycles per second. The magnetostrictive unit consists of metal stacks that change dimensions when electric energy is applied to the unit. The vibrations that are created from the metal stacks travel to a connected body that causes vibration of the working tip. The tips move in an elliptical or orbital stroke pattern which gives it four working surfaces. Piezoelectric ultrasonic scalers work in the frequency of 18,500 to 50,000 cycles per second. It consists of ceramic disks that changes in dimensions when electric energy is applied to the unit. The tips move in a linear pattern which gives the tip two working surfaces. These tip designs allow improved access in many areas including the furcations and slim design and lower power settings improve the patient comfort. Ultrasonic tip designs Ultrasonic tips are designed to remove heavy supragingival calculus and debride periodontal pockets. These are grouped as large and thin diameter tips. 
large diameter tips are created with universal design and remove large tenacious and heavy calculus. Medium to medium high power settings are recommended. Thin diameter tips can have a straight tip design or can be right and left contra angle tips. Straight tips are used to remove light to moderate deposits on the anterior and posterior root surface. Remove plaque biofilm from root surfaces. The contra angle tips are used to remove light to moderate calculus deposits on the root concavities convexities and furcations. They also help in removal of plug biofilm from root surfaces. Lower power settings are recommended while using thin diameter tips. Water is essential to dissipate the heat generated through the tip vibrations. The amount of water delivered to the tip in the form of fine mist can be controlled through flow tube. Tips can have internal or external tube flow. Ultrasonic instruments are beneficial for supragingival calculus removal, subgingival debridement, and general deplucking. Newer designs and thinner tips are effective in deplucking root surfaces and disruption of bacteria in the subgingival biofilm. Outcome of use of ultrasonic scalars are it reduces bleeding on probing, reduces the probing pocket depth, allows gain in clinical attachment. These results are comparable to those achieved with hand scaling. They also provide improved access when scaling in the focation areas. Special consideration while using ultrasonic scalers. Roughness of root surface compared to hand scaling warrants the use of polishing instruments after scaling. Aerosol production requires the need for proper infection control. Bioaerosols and splatter contaminate the operator and remain in the air for up to 30 minutes. Pre-procedural rinsing with 0.12% chlorhexidine and high-speed evacuation can effectively reduce bioaerosols. Ultrasonic scalers may be contraindicated in patients with pacemakers as they can interfere with the activity of dual system pacemakers. However, newer models of pacemakers often have bipolar titanium insulation that makes ultrasonic and solid instruments generally safe for use. However, in case of doubt, the physician should be consulted. Indications of ultrasonic instruments are Subgingival debridement of dental calculus and extrinsic stains, subgingival debridement of calculus, oral biofilm, root surface constituents, removal of orthodontic cements, gingival and periodontal diseases and conditions, and during surgical interventions. Contraindications for ultrasonic scalars are chronic pulmonary disease like asthma, emphysema, cystic fibrosis, and pneumonia cardiovascular diseases with secondary pulmonary disease, and patients with swallowing difficulty or dysphagia. Precautions to be taken for patients with unshielded pacemakers, infectious diseases like the human immunodeficiency virus, hepatitis, and tuberculosis active stages. In cases of demineralized root surface, exposed dentine, patients with restorative materials like porcelain, amalgam, gold, and composite, patients with titanium implant abutments, primary teeth of children, patients who are on immunosuppression from diseases or chemotherapy, or patients with uncontrolled diabetes mellitus. Ultrasonic scalars are used in a pen grasp and an extraoral fulcrum. Advantages of extraoral fulcrum is that it maintains a light grasp, easier access physically, better visibility of oral cavity. Deposits are removed coronally to apically. This allows the insert or the tip to work at its optimal stroke pattern and frequency. In the embrasure area, a horizontal or transfer stroke is recommended to remove deposits. Sweeping motions for subgingival deep plucking is suggested for removing biofilm from the pockets. Light pressure is required with ultrasonic scalars. Tips coated with non-metallic plastic or carbon material are advised for instrumentation of dental implants. So to summarize, ultrasonic devices aim to remove biofilm supragingivally and subgingivally and help in reduce inflammation. Types of power instruments are sonic, ultrasonic. Ultrasonic has two types, piezoelectric and magnetostrictive. Mechanism of action, the factors that depend are frequency, stroke and water flow. Water flow causes acoustic streaming, acoustic turbulence and cavitation. 
Magnetostrictive scalars consist of metal stacks and the tips have an elliptical or orbital stroke pattern. Piezoelectric scalars have ceramic disc and the tips have linear stroke pattern. Ultrasonic tips can have larger or thin diameter tips. Larger diameter tips are used to remove large tenacious and heavy calculus, while thinner diameter tips are used to remove plaque biofilm from root surfaces. Ultrasonic instruments are used in pen grasp, light pressure, and deposits are removed from coronal to apical portion. You can find the link to MCQs for this topic in the description of the video. We hope you liked the video. If you did, please subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell for further updates. Thank you for watching the video. See you in the next video. Till then, stay healthy and have an amazing week.